crunchy, zesty fried chicken, airy buttermilk waffles topped with spicy maple syrup, it's gonna impress even your most seasoned brunch goers. My tip to the best fried chicken is buttermilk. It's acidic, but not too acidic, and it tenderizes the meat perfectly. And I like to add my own personal touch with some hot sauce and Worcestershire sauce. I'm using chicken thighs, boneless, skin on, and I love them because they're packed with flavor and super affordable. So you can entertain with these really easily. I'm gonna get these all tucked in here under the buttermilk. I'm gonna pop these into the fridge, and the more in advance you can make these, the better. That chicken's gonna get even more tender. And here's a batch I made earlier. Time to make that crunchy, zesty coating for these birds. It starts with just a little flour. And I love cornmeal for this because it's gonna add that nice texture. An extra little crunch. And southern cooking is all about that smoky heat, starting with smoky paprika and cayenne. Dry mustard adds a nice tangy heat. It's so good. Garlic, of course. And marjoram, which is gonna add a really light floral note. Look at this, it's so pretty. Now that's a lot of flavor in one bowl. really messy. So I like to push these dishes together. The buttermilk gets this coating to cling to the chicken, and the double dipping is gonna definitely get a crispy, crunchy batter. This is ready for the oil. Does this look appetizing or what? Mm. Now, I need to get these warm, but I gotta sneak a bite. Just cutting through that, did you hear that crunch? Look at that. Oh, wow. Now that is some pretty good chicken, if I do say so myself. It's crispy, spicy, crunchy. Mmm, so good. I'm gonna keep this freshly fried chicken toasty warm while I whip up a fresh batch of extra fluffy buttermilk waffles. My crispy on the outside and juicy and tender on the inside chicken is staying warm in the oven, and I'm about to whip up a batch of my sweet buttermilk waffles. It all starts out with a little flour, baking powder, sugar, and salt. Pretty simple, right? A real southern ingredient, buttermilk. Here's one of my secrets. These are my egg yolks, 
and they're gonna go into here. And I've got my egg whites on the side that I'm gonna fluff up and put in here afterwards. Some vanilla. It's just so aromatic. And that butter is gonna make them super luxurious. And my tip to really fluffy waffles is to beat these egg whites till a stiff peak. This batter is so fluffy and light, it's gonna make the perfect waffle. Let's get this batter on the iron, and you definitely need to get yourself a waffle iron. They're so worth it. I'm just brushing the waffle iron with a little butter. It's gonna help the waffles from sticking. These are gonna cook up, get golden and crispy. The smell in here is making it hard for me not to drool on this food. It is so good. Look at these golden, fluffy waffles screaming for this crispy chicken. And the crispy chicken smells of all of those delicious herbs and spices that we put in here. Mm. And look at this presentation. I mean, is this a showstopper or what? This is missing one last thing, some maple syrup. But not just any maple syrup, spicy maple syrup. This is what I call attention to detail. All right, enough's enough. I'm digging in. Ooh. <laughs> mm. Mm. That waffle is sweet and savory. That little tang from the buttermilk and it's airy and fluffy. The perfect bed for that crispy chicken. And the chicken is zesty. I taste all of those herbs and spices and that crunch factor, wow. All of that topped with spicy and sweet maple syrup. Tangy fried chicken on buttermilk waffles. Now that's what I call a truly Southern brunch.